Hello and welcome back. Okay, are you ready? The other day, I was talking to you about the human body, the super machine. Do you remember? La super machina. Eh? The super machine is a human body, incredible machine. Yes, and the human body, I started, I only just started with the tip of the matter, the tip of my fingers, my fingertips, the tip of my tongue, the tip of an iceberg, okay? The tip. Now, my fingertips have fingernails. You remember, some people bite their nails and some people file their nails and some people clip with a nail clipper or with nail clipper like small scissors. And they clip their nails and a nail file with a nail file, escrito file, como archivo. It's the same word as, as a archive, as a file. Okay, we file our nails with a nail file. My wife does it every week. I don't file my nails. I don't. I clip my nails, but I don't file them. Now, my nails are connected to my fingers, my fingers. I have ten fingers. To be more precise, I have eight fingers and two thumbs, okay? Each finger has a different function, and you don't realize that until you lose one, and then you realize what function that finger had. Every finger has a function. Now, our fingers are connected to our hands, okay? Now, but we already have joints. There are three joints on our fingers, really. A joint is an articulation, a point of articulation, and you can bend your fingers thanks to the fact that you have joints in your fingers. We call these knuckles, cunucles escrito, knuckles, and we, we, because of the joints and of our knuckles, we can form, we can close our hand and form a fist. If I want to hit you in the nose, the first thing I need to do is to form a fist. Se escribe como suena, fist, F-I-S-T. And then I'm prepared to hit you in the nose. Okay? This is my fist. And I form my fist by closing my fingers and using the joints to bend my fingers inward, not outward, inward. And then I form a fist. It's interesting. In Spanish, you say puño. And uh, also you say for this part of the shirt. You say puño for this part of the shirt. However, this part of the shirt in uh, English is not fist. We call this our cuff. Cuff. I have two cuffs because I have two sleeves. My shirt has sleeves, two sleeves. And at the end of the sleeves, I have the cuffs. Now, here I have buttons on my cuffs. Okay? In order to open my cuffs, I need to unbutton. Now, some cuffs don't have buttons. Some cuffs have cuff links. Enlaces de puño, decimos en inglés, cuff links, which link the two parts of the cuff. And in this case, I don't need it because this cuff has a button. Now, if I want to roll up my sleeves, the first thing I need to do is to unbutton the cuffs. And now I'm unbuttoning the cuff. The other cuff is already unbuttoned. And now I'm rolling up, rolling, rolling, like the Rolling Stones. I'm rolling up my sleeve, yeah, slowly. Now I'm rolling up my left sleeve. Why? As you can ask me, Clovey, why are you rolling up your sleeves? I'm rolling up my sleeves because I need to work hard in this program to help you with your English. And it's typical to say in English, okay, my friend, together, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. You have the same expression in Spanish, remangarse, arremangarse. Say, roll up your sleeves to get to work. And if I roll up my sleeve, it exposes part of my arm, which we call our forearm. Upper arm, lower arm, but normally we say upper arm and forearm. Escrito fore, like forehead. Four means before. The I mean the before, before, forearm, upper arm. But before we get to this, to my forearms, we need to talk about my hands. My fingers, remember, this is a cuff, but this is a fist. 
and I far, form a fist by using my joints, and I can articulate my hand in a very dynamic way, thanks to the joints. This is the super machine. It works very, very well. Okay, And I can form a fist. Now my fingers are connected to my hand. Now my hand also is connected to my arm by another joint, very interesting joint, called a wrist. 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 But it starts with a W. The W is silent, by the way. And I can move my hands quite dynamically thanks to, thanks to this joint, which is called a wrist. I have two wrists because I have two hands. Now my hands, my fingers, are connected to the wrist by the hand. And this is the back of my hand. And this is the palm of my hand. Each hand has a palm and a back. And it's interesting in Spanish. You say, for example, I know Bilbao like the palm of my hand. Conozco Bilbao como la palma de la mano. You say in Spanish, I know Bilbao like the palm of my hand. In English, normally, we say, I know Bilbao like the back of my hand. In the English-speaking world, we do things the opposite of you. We know cities. If we know a city well, we know it like the back of our hand, not like the palm of our hand. Okay? Let me ask you a question. Which part of your hand do you know better? Really, tell me the truth. Eh? Which part of your hand do you know better? The palm of your hand or the back of your hand? To tell you the truth, in my opinion, I think you, by accident, probably, you spend more time observing the back of your hand or simply seeing it inadvertently, the back of your hand than the palm of your hand. Okay? So I think the English expression is more precise than the Spanish expression. I think you should say, I know Bilbao like the dorso de la mano, like the back of my hand, not like the palm. Okay, but nevertheless, the hand is connected to the forearm by means of a joint, which articulates quite dynamically, called my wrist. Now, my forearm is connected to my upper arm by another joint called my elbow. Fijaos. Notice that I always use the possessive adjective my. My fingers are connected to my hand, which are connected to my forearm, which are connected to my upper arm, by my joints. Always with the parts of the body, we use the possessive adjective. I have my hand on my head. In Spanish, you don't say that. You say, I have the hand. Tengo la mano en la cabeza. I have the hand on the head. And in English, that sounds very strange. If somebody says to me, I have the hand on the head, I look for a, 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 a head and a hand somewhere, okay? Thinking, where? where is, is there a head on the floor, in the corner? Is there a head? In English, we always are possessive. It's our body, so we have the right to be possessive, in this case, at least. This, this arm is not going to belong to anybody else. It's mine for at least, yeah, for at least all my life. So, my hand is connected to my arm by my wrist and my forearm is connected to my upper arm by another joint, very important joint, which is called my elbow. Elbow, E-L-B-O-W, elbow. And the elbow is an interesting joint. Without, if you don't have an elbow, you can't bend your arm. You can bend your arm from your shoulder, but you can't bend your arm in the middle. In this case, you would have a stiff arm, stiff. S-T-I-F-F, tieso. You can't move it. If it's your left arm, very good. Then you can play golf, correctly. But a stiff arm, no. This joint, escrito joint para articulación, this joint allows you to bend your arm. And you can bend your arm only in one direction. You can't bend your arm the other way unless you are a contortionist or, or you have double joints, we say. So you bend your arm, okay? And when you bend your arm, you normally flex the muscles on your upper arm, the bicep and the tricep, the bicep and the tricep. Traditionally, when when you want to show somebody your muscles, you bend your arm and you flex, to flex, flex, you know, to flex your muscles and your bicep muscles. 
Now your elbow divides your forearm from your upper arm. And then finally, to finish our arm and to finish this program, we come to another strange joint. If you really think about it, do this with your shoulder. I have two shoulders, a left shoulder and a right shoulder. And this joint works in a strange way. Eh? Yes, it really works in a dynamic way, but different from the, every joint has different actions. Whoever invented the human body was quite a, an interesting person. All right, I don't know who invented it. A lot of people think they know, and maybe, you never know, but the inventor of the human body was, was a, a good designer. And it works very well, this joint. And if you have problems in this joint, it's a problem. If you suffer problems in your shoulder, it can be a big problem. Once I dislocated my shoulder. Yeah, dislocar. You say the same in Spanish. Once I was playing football. I was a member of an American football team. I was 17, and I was playing in a game on Friday night. And in one moment, another player hit me, and it dislocated my shoulder. It was extremely painful. It was very painful. And I couldn't move my shoulder or my arm, and I, I figured, I thought, probably I dislocated. And I went to the sideline and spoke to the coach, the coach, the trainer. And I said, coach, I can't move my shoulder. I think it's dislocated. And another assistant coach came, and he went, boom. And it went back perfectly and with no pain. It was perfect, like I was normal, like nothing had happened. So, if you dislocate your shoulder, there is a trick. I don't know the trick myself, but you can put it back into position. And I was very fortunate because it was very painful. I could hardly speak to the coach. I could barely speak to the coach. Hardly and barely. Apenas por los pelos. I could barely speak to the coach because it was so painful. So, our shoulder connects our arm to our torso, to your body. Okay, And when you reach the shoulder, you can go two different ways. You can go up or you can go down. If you go up, you go up to a person's head, which is connected to the body by another interesting joint called your neck. Now, like you can have a stiff arm if your elbow doesn't work, you can have a stiff neck. And it happens quite often. What you call torticulis, we have a stiff neck. Okay, And the neck connects your body to your head. And with that, I will finish another short class on the human body, the super machine. I hope you've enjoyed it. My hand, the back of my hand, the palm, my wrist, my forearm, my elbow, my joints, a fist, a cuff, roll up your sleeves, your upper arm, your bicep, your tricep, and your shoulder, and your neck. See you again soon. Bye-bye.